international school presents many difficulties due to many nationalities. Today we will explore some of the difficulties faced by our very own teachers and students from YCISCQ. Hope you enjoy the video! Yeah. What's your job at this school? Uh, I'm a secondary learning support teacher, so I uh, help students from year 7 to 13. Do you work with students who struggle with communicating in English? I do, yeah, I do every day, uh, particularly in lower secondary. Um, I support students anywhere from various abilities from little to no English to moderate amounts of English and I'm helping them to catch up with the mainstream students. What are some examples of the difficulties you face with these students? Um, well, first thing is, uh, since Students are heavily um, English as a second language, so sometimes they have no idea what the teacher is saying. So a lot of it comes down to translation. And if they have an idea of what the teacher is saying, then it's to uh, interpret and to build on more um, on the meanings and, and what the teacher is saying and the instructions that are given, and also help them build their vocabulary, which is very important for learning a new language. How do you try to help these students with these difficulties? Uh, well, uh, as I, I just mentioned, um, translation is a big, uh, a big factor. So oftentimes it's, it could be just as simple as uh, using Google Translate and providing a trans live translation during a lesson. Um, we also have created like a list of vocabulary and phrases that we can refer to that's posted on the blog that um, students can refer to. That uh, have like instructions and stuff like that to do to help with our language. Hello students! Today we're going to learn about what sublimation is. Sublimation is the process of solid to a gas without being a liquid. Uh, IHAKKEESO,IGCESE,HANGUGOA,IBDP,HANGUGOA,KARUKIGOISMITA. 이로 인해 이런 어려운 상황들을 예를 들어 주세요. 어 특별히 어려운 상황이라보다는 학생들이 이제 글을 쓸때 번역투로 번역체로 글을 쓰는 경우가 많은데 특히 우리나라 말은 능동태로 쓰는 게 내가 뭘 하다가 자연스러운데 자꾸 수동태나 피동 피동형으로 글을 쓸 때가 있죠. 이런 학생들을 어떻게 도와주나요? 어 주로 글을 고쳐 주거나 아니면은 제가 그 상황에 맞게 다시 이야기를 합니다. 네, 감사합니다. 감사합니다. What's your job at the school? I am a geography teacher at the school, but I also teach humanities to lower secondary. Do you work with students who struggle with communicating in English? Um, I would say, with few exceptions, the majority of students have English as a second language, um, but there's a big variety of abilities. I would say most students that I deal with um, are competent in English, uh, they can communicate, um, but they might not have the broadest vocabulary. When it gets up to GCSE and IB, um, there is more of an example of students who have more difficulty, but that's more to do with the level of English required at that point rather than them having an inherent weakness in the language of English. What are some examples of the difficulties you face with these students? Uh, for example, in geography there's a lot of um, new and specific vocabulary and I would say it's probably one of the topics with the largest amount of new vocabulary um, especially for students who have English as a second language um, and this leads to 
the students having to learn an incredible amount of vocabulary that may be similar to the kind of vocab list you will get when you're learning a new language. So it can double their workload, especially for students who are already struggling with English. So that's the main struggle, is dealing with the new language and due to how English works with the new language, it's all a case of how do they structure the past tense of that word, the possessive of that word, and with English, because it's not a consistent system for different words, that is one of the biggest challenges. How do you try to help these students with these difficulties? Um, often, uh, depending on the level and the level of the student, um, in class, when a new word is introduced, we try to use it in a number of different scenarios straight away. So we'll do definitions, and then during that lesson, there will be a piece of writing, whether short or a long answer question, where the student will be required to use that word, and they will, of course, receive feedback on that, whether in real time, so we'll do uh, activity as a class where they need to use the language, or perhaps we will do a piece of, um, longer answer writing which I can give uh, written feedback on and those are some of the best ways of, of approaching it. Hello students, so today we'll be learning about the discovery of America. So there was a guy called Christopher Columbus, he wore a fancy hat and then he came to America by riding a boat. When he saw America He hopped off the boat and came to America. <laughs> oh, I understand. Oh, I know. 수업 시간에 어떤 문제점을 겪었나요? 수업 시간에 선생님 말을 잘못 알아들어서 힘들었고요. 그리고 어, 수업도 잘못 따라갔습니다. 평소에는 어떤 점이 힘들었나요? 평생 친구들끼리 말이 잘안 통해서 언어적으로 소통하는 게 힘들었고요. 네. 그리고 이 문제점들을 어떻게 완화했나요? 언어적으로 힘들었던 게 많으니까 어, 영어를 공부를 하려고 노력했어요. Uh, do you find it difficult to make friends of different nationalities? So, because there are less languages and like cultural difference, so like at the beginning of the school when I come to YCS, I'm not like, I'm, I don't have that much friend with like other countries because kind of like I feared or not being like really can understand like other people's thinking. But like as the time passes, like like the second year, it's it's not that hard for me because I learn some English, so I can communicate with other people and and like all oh, like the people are kind, mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's not that. Oh my god, oh my god, yo, ta, chin, ku, okay, and then uh. 자부지도 그리고 이, 이렇게 돼서 돼지가 되는 거야. <웃음> Do you currently face any problems in an international school? No. <웃음> what are the problems you notice that other people face? inside of class in an international school? Right now, in our school, I think there's too much Koreans or too much one type of nationality and then they tend to go along with each other that are from the same country and they don't really um, communicate well or communicate enough with people and friends that are from other countries. I think this is a problem. In our school, yeah. Do you see these problems at um, other schools you've been to? Uh, yes, and I used to go to Aisha in Beijing, which had bigger community and more people. And 
I think if the co community is bigger, there are more problems. Mm -hmm. And I also face a lot of like bullying in a bigger community. Okay. What are some of the difficulties you notice that other people face outside the class? Outside of class. Well, I think as a year 10 class, like there's the, like four major groups. There's the Korean girls, then there's the boys in the back, then there's the Chinese, and then there's the American slash Australian girls. So that's basically how it goes, and that's how we hang out after and during school. So in an international school, it's kind of based on those separate groups and we don't really hang out together so difficult shushie <laughs> <laughs> let's try to make some friends <laughs> So our group was trying to come up with a topic to make our documentary about it and I found that my group members were all speaking Korean and I couldn't understand a word they were saying so I came up with the idea that our group should make a video about our situation at that moment which was I could not understand what they were saying so basically about difficulties that our international school faces so now we're going to act out what the situation looked like 앞집 팥죽은 붉은 팥, 푸 팥죽이고 뒷집 콩죽은 해콩당 콩죽 우리 집 캣죽은 검은 깨 깨죽인데 사람들은 해콩당 콩 콩죽 깨죽은 붉은 먹기를 싫어하더라. 저쪽한 초코치가 안 저쪽한 초코치 있는데 저쪽한 초코치 안 저쪽한 초코치 있는 안 저쪽한 초코치니까 난 저기 가라고 했다. 내가 그린 기린 그림은 잘 그린 기린 그림이고 네가 그린 기린 그림은 못 그린 기린 그림이다. So what we are talking about is thanks for watching our video. えっと、クロップ。あ、メンツが興味あるか。あ、これ、ちょっと待って。あ、ちょっと。あ、ちょっと。あ、ちょっと。あ、ちょっと。あ、ちょっと。あ、ちょっと。あ、ちょっと。あ